Hi, I'm John Hovanesian. In this paper, where I worked with Eric Donenfeld, Alice Apatropoulos, and Jack Holliday, we did a study to see what impact lafitograst had on refractive uh, accuracy as well as other parameters among patients with dry eye who uh, underwent cataract surgery. We actually uh, did biometry measurements to predict surgical, surgical outcome both before and then 30 days after treatment with lafitograst in these patients who were included in the study because they qualified by having uh, a reduced tear breakup time and the presence of corneal staining. Um, we then performed surgery and looked at the refractive outcome one month after surgery to determine which biometry before or after lafitograst was a better predictor of the final outcome. Finally, we treated patients for a second month with this drug to see if we could retain the beneficial effects of uh, reduced staining and uh, better higher order aberrations in the long term after surgery. And what we found here is uh, higher order aberrations. Uh, the first round of treatment is shown in blue and we had a significant improvement uh, with paired t-testing. We retained the benefit of reduced higher order aberrations after surgery following the second round of lafitograst. Uh, which uh, is shown in orange. The vast majority of patients improved uh, compared to those who stayed the same or uh, worsened. We also saw um, significant improvement in refractive accuracy. When the biometry that was uh, performed after lafitograst was used for planning uh, to, to predict the outcome, uh, based on the final outcome of surgery, we saw that that was uh, consistently more accurate than the one before lafitograst, before we treated the dry eye. Um, here's corneal staining and uh, a significant improvement here as well, as there was with speed scores, with tear breakup time, and with conjunctival erythema. So in this study, we concluded that treating cataract patients who have dry eye with lafitograss before surgery can significantly improve our refractive accuracy, our higher order aberrations, corneal staining, speed scores, tear breakup time, and conjunctival erythema which means that it's an appropriate choice in trying to treat dry eye in the cataract patient before we plan our surgery. I'm John Hovanesian. Thanks for watching.